This litigation started back in 2014, and the case is all about future students. At issue is Harvard's admissions policy and the role that race plays in determining who gets in to one of the most selective elite institutions of higher education in the world. For competitive applicants, checking the right racial box is an anvil on the admissions scale, worth the same as ultra-rare achievements like winning a national championship. There are essentially two questions now before the highest court in the land. First, should the Supreme Court overturn a prior case and hold that institutions of higher education cannot use race as a factor in admissions? The second question before the Supreme Court is this. Is Harvard violating Title VI of the Civil Rights Act by penalizing Asian American applicants, engaging in racial balancing, overemphasizing race, and rejecting workable race-neutral alternatives? Attorney Seth Waxman argued the case on behalf of Harvard. Harvard does not improperly emphasize race in its admissions decisions. It does not engage in racial balancing. It most certainly does not discriminate against Asian American applicants. During oral arguments today, Associate Justice Neil Gorsuch asked Harvard's attorney about the timing for achieving a race neutral system because the case that set the precedent for affirmative action predicts an end to racial preferences in admissions at some point. Does Harvard have some view about when? Harvard, yes, Harvard's view about when doesn't have a date on it. So again, the group that is bringing this lawsuit alleges that Harvard's current admission system discriminates against Asian American applicants. But after the hearing today, we heard from some current and former Asian American Harvard students who say they support affirmative action here at Harvard. Reporting live tonight in Cambridge, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB.